everybody, it's me, Miss Laura, and today we are going to be making edible Play-Doh in honor of National Play-Doh Day. So the recipe we're using is a two ingredient recipe. And all you need is some frosting, canned frosting. It doesn't matter what flavor, what color. Um, you can get pink or, or sprinkles in there, whatever you wanna do with that. Um, if you do get it in the white, you can add food coloring to it. Um, to give it that pizzazz, you can add sprinkles in there. Uh, so those are some extras you could get. And the other ingredient that is necessary is powdered sugar. So I haven't made this yet, so we're going to do this together as a first time thing and see how it goes. Now I've included in our craft packs today the recipe for all of this, but uh, for the purposes of the video, I'm actually going to cut the recipe in half. Okay, so I'm going to make smaller quantities um, just for my purposes. So let's see. The original recipe calls for one cup, and because I'm halving it, we're going to use half a cup. So I'm going to start with my powdered sugar and measure that out. And the fun thing about this, it is, it's, a, it's not an exact science. It's not like when you're cooking. You don't have to follow this recipe exactly. Some of the fun of it, because you can always add more uh, frosting or more powdered sugar. So we've got loosely um, one and a quarter, so we'll start out with that. And then, let's see. And then open up my frosting. I love frosting, it's really tempting not to eat this while I am doing this. Now this part might be a little bit messier. So we're gonna add a half a cup of the frosting. And it was recommended that you just kind of mix this until it's not sticky. So if you see that it's still sticky, you simply add in more powdered sugar. Um, in this instance, powdered sugar kind of works like a flour when you're mixing dough or cookies. Um, I know when I'm baking my Christmas cookies, I will put in a little bit of powdered sugar with my flour when I'm rolling out my dough so it doesn't get too flour tasting. So, and the best part about edible Play-Doh, unlike your typical Play-Doh, is you can eat it afterwards. Sounds like it's gonna be very sugary. I, this is not the best measuring cup for um, stiff liquidy or stiff things like frosting, so, but this is all I had on hand. So um, my measurement on this one is going to be very inaccurate. So I'm just putting it in a giant mixing bowl and it is very messy and goopy, but that's the fun part of making this is this is a recipe you can actually get your hands in there and just have fun with. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that. So, um, I'm gonna attempt cleaning off my spoon, and I think the best way to do this is just by putting your hands in there. I'm gonna take off my watch, because I've had frosting and stuff on there, and we're just gonna kind of get that on there. By putting the powdered sugar on there, again, I'm helping to keep it from sticking on my fingers, and you just keep folding it in there. Ah, it's nice filling. The powdered sugar is very soft. Um, if you want more, you can add in more. It's sticking a little bit, but the more you get that powdered sugar into your Play-Doh, the more you're gonna be able to just kind of handle it and play with it, so. Oh yeah. So it actually kind of makes like a dough, like a Play-Doh, so you can sculpt it. They had um, pictures on, uh, where they put it on a little ice cream cone. Um, and see, it's still sticking to my hand a little bit, and all I'm doing is taking more powdered sugar and folding it in there to kind of make it, oops, not so sticky. And the heat from your hands is gonna make it sticky too. So that's something, if it gets too sticky, stick it in the refrigerator. And um, that will help with it also, because, um, the heat kind of makes it more like melt it a little bit. Same problem you have with cookies. That's why a lot of times when you're making cookies, you have to put it in the refrigerator before rolling it out. 
So this is actually a lot of fun and very easy. And the nice thing is for little people, they can easily, um, it's, it's okay if they eat it, unlike real Play-Doh, which is extremely salty. I would not advise eating it, and yes, I've tasted it. I regretted it. So, it's kind of moldable there. I'm trying to get it so it's not quite so sticky. Now, let's see. I forgot to bring over little cutters. Oh, I got stuck on my finger there. Just add some more powdered sugar on that little bit. Let's see what we can make here. So you can kind of see it. I'm going to add more powdered sugar onto my hand. Roll it up in a ball here. And I forgot to grab my food coloring before I began, but if you wanted to, you can add your food coloring in here while you're mixing it. Um, Seeing as how it's all white, I'm going to go with the first white shape that I can think of. Can anybody guess what that might be? As I'm rolling it into balls, I'm gonna make a snowman. And I can even sprinkle some of this powdered sugar on it. Ta -da! Now it looks like snow. <laughs> so, and let's, let's try the final, it's supposed to be edible, so I'm getting me a little, small little bite on my very sugared hands, and we're going to try this. Tastes like really sweet frosting. It's good. I wouldn't eat too much of it, though. <laughs> but uh, play around with it. Let me know if you got some tips. Um, there's lots of recipes. Ooh, that's kind of good. There's lots of <laughs> recipes out there. Um, some of them are more complicated. Um, I know there's one that you can use that uh, use as a marshmallow and powdered sugar. So, um, but this one's, like I said, really easy, super cheap. Um, I, I say both ingredients alone maybe cost $3 of that. So it's really cheap, lots of fun, safe for the kids. Um, just have fun with it. And like I said, if it gets too melty and globby, um, just stick it in the refrigerator so you can play with this for a while. <laughs> Alrighty, have fun and enjoy. Happy National Play-Doh Day. Bye-bye.